Hello there, this is Tiago with another OpenOffice spreadsheet tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to copy data from a column in one sheet to another sheet. Now, as you can see here, I have a set of values in this column over here on sheet one. Now, what I want to do is transfer these values onto sheet two, okay? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do this. Now to perform this function, we could simply copy data from cells like this. Okay, copy them and then transfer them to another sheet like this. This is the simple way, but we bump into problems if the values on the main sheet change. So for instance, if I change this to 10.01, it's not going to change on sheet two. Okay, for this to happen, we must use formulas. Okay, so let me show you the kind of formula that you need to use to copy data from a different sheet. This kind of formula is so powerful that even if you change the data on the main sheet, that data is going to be transferred to the other sheet automatically. So let me delete these values over here and I'm going to replace these values with the formula equals sum in capital letters brackets sheet one dot h4 okay because this cell over here is going to mimic the cell h4 on sheet one. Okay, now I hit enter. If I drag all the way down from this cell over here, what I end up doing is copying all the values from sheet one. Okay, it's happened that quickly. This is how powerful this formula is. To see if everything is correct, I can go totals over here and then I can put the sum of all these values over here into this cell okay and what I get is 92 pounds and 24 pence just like on sheet one all right so this formula has definitely worked also let's see what happens if I change one of the values on sheet one Will the change be replicated on sheet two? Let's see. So I'm going to change 10 pounds and one pence into nine pounds and 99 pence, all right? And if I do that, the total of this column will be 92.22. Can we see this replicated over here on sheet two? Yes, we can. So 10.01 has been changed into nine pounds and 99 pence, all right? Now, what if the name of sheet one were different? I'm going to show you what formula you need to use if you have a sheet with a different name. So let me delete this data over here, okay, on sheet two, and let me rename sheet one. I'm going to call sheet one data one, okay? If that happens, another type of formula is required. So let me go back to sheet two and over here in the cell J5, I'm going to put down the formula equals sum in brackets. I'm going to open and close the apostrophes. And I'm going to write down between those apostrophes, data one, okay, like this. And then over here, I'm going to put dot, and I'm going to mimic the data from the cell H4 on the sheet data one, okay? If I do that and hit enter, you can see J5 has mimicked the cell H4 on the sheet data one. 
Now from here, all I have to do is drag down from this cell over here, okay? And everything from data one, the sheet data one, is mimicked. And we can see this by summing up the column over here, all right? We get 92 pounds and 22 pence, just like on the sheet data one, okay? So if the name of the sheet changes, you just use a slightly different formula. To see if everything is working correctly, we can change one of the values on data one, the sheet data one. So let me change this three pounds and 21 pence into one pound, okay? So we get a total of 90 pounds and one pence. Let's see if everything has been mimicked on sheet two. Yes, it has. So this formula works perfectly fine as well. If this tutorial has been useful to you, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. I'm going to be posting more content like this in the future. Also, for mathematics proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Here I post A-level mathematics proofs quite regularly. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again soon.